So today I'm in the city of Hue and I am, I've just arrived at a place called the Citadel. Uh, the Citadel I think was the last place where the last emperor of Vietnam lived. Uh, behind me there's these four cannons, they were symbolic cannons uh, built in 1803, between 1803 and 1804. Uh, and they were built from copper weapons that had been taken from uh, a guy, I think his name is Tay Son Nat, uh, melted down and made into these. Uh, each cannon is 10 tons of copper. And uh, they were never fired, they're mostly ceremonial. Uh, so now I'm just going to walk around uh, this place called the Citadel and take a look. Also, for the first time since I've been here, it is cold. I'm not exactly dressed for the overcast weather, and it's about to rain, I'm pretty sure. So. Uh, that should be interesting because I don't have any change of clothes. So this is kind of cool. I'm inside the Citadel. It's the, the last home of the last emperor of Vietnam. And uh, it's actually pretty cool. It's got these uh, huge like barricade walls. Okay, so I just left what I believe was the throne room. Uh, and unfortunately there's no photography allowed in there. It's too bad because it was pretty ornate. It was pretty cool. Um, the throne was still up there, there were some uh, ancient vases and uh, some other stuff. It was otherwise pretty bare, but a lot of the uh, inlaid work on the, the pillars was still there. There was these big, uh, almost like crown moldings, but, but looked to be made of gold. I don't know if it was actually gold or like uh, gold-plated brass or whatever it was, but uh, yeah, it was pretty awesome. Um, unfortunately, couldn't take any photos. But, uh, now I'm going to walk the rest of the compound and uh, see what else there is to see. It looks like it used to be uh, much bigger. There was, there was many more uh, buildings. I don't know how they were destroyed, but... Um, <laughs> but uh, it, there was a short informational video that I was watching. It said it started construction in 1804, was finished in 1833. Uh, the compound's 540 by 640 meters. Uh, and then it showed the different areas of the compound and what they were used for. Okay, I'm not exactly sure if I'm allowed to be walking here because there's nobody else in this area. But it's, uh, it's pretty cool looking. It's like one of those uh, abandoned and destroyed areas. Um, you can see here, it looks like some of the trees have reclaimed this area. Um, there's some stairs leading up to what I assume is a cool view. There's a guy cleaning. Let's see. Looks like we'll get a view of the moat. Oh yeah, the whole thing has a moat. I'm not sure if there's alligators in it, but it's a moat. Yeah. There she be. And then over there is those ruins I was just at. And yeah. So this place, the Imperial Palace, is really cool. Um, I haven't eaten in about 15 hours, uh, and it looks like it's it's seriously about to rain. I haven't seen these gray clouds since I've been here in Vietnam. But uh, so I don't know what's gonna drive me out of here first, the the rain or the hunger. But I don't want to leave, you know. Uh, I kind of want to see every single every single inch of this place because there's just so much to see, you know. Um, and it makes me wonder what it looked like back in its heyday, you know, before it went to ruin, before the war destroyed parts of it. Um, yeah. yeah, I think it would have been something to see. So I think I'm going to tough it out, even if it starts raining. I've got a jacket um, and the hunger. Just make the next meal even better. Yeah. <laughs>